Hello. I was hoping I wasn't on next, actually, because my mind is blown from the wound current. What? Now I have to... Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, not award-winning yet. Yeah, I've, I've shortlisted for the Waterstones Prize, Children's Prize. Got a book called The Missing Piece. Um, I... Oh, thank you. Cheers. Um, all right, yeah. So I'm just going to tell you a story, and then you can decide whether it's wild or not. That's how I'm going to go with this. It is basically about synchronicity, um, and there's no reason for me to tell it. It's just in, in awe of nothing. It's just for no reason. Um, it's for nothing. It's the sake of nothingness. So here's a story. So I, was ma I made a song a few years ago, right? And the song was called Whole. It was a song that I wrote with a W. It was a song I wrote about my own kind of spiral into depression. I didn't realize that I was writing that until I finished the song. But um, often writers do write things to figure things out, and that's what I figured out. I played this song to a man who at that very same moment had been approached by the NHS to create a mental health campaign for young people in Brighton and Hove. He came up with the idea, why don't we use the song whole to create this mental health campaign we can, people can draw circles on their hand and then they can feel as though they're part of a bigger conversation if they hashtag it, I am whole. And I thought, oh my God, yeah, that would be incredible, right? Because I've poured my heart out onto this song and then I get to utilize that pain in order to help others. Brilliant, fantastic. So um, we went along with it, NHS loved it, and they even said, all right, the campaign can be a music video, right? So I was like, oh my God, can I, can I come up with a music video? And they're like, yeah, all right, wicked. I was like, how long have I got? They went, till Monday. And I was like, all right, it was Friday, whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down all night and I'm going to just write ideas for this video whole, right? Because I think of all the circular imagery, do you know what I mean? Like tape reeling or bicycle wheels, I can create something iconic with all these circular images. And I'm sat there and uh, I get a phone call about four hours into me not coming up with a video idea. And it was this guy I'd met twice uh, called Joe. <laughs> and um, he said, hey, uh, do you want to come to Margate with me? <laughs> do you want to come to Margate with me and my friend Cheryl? <laughs> And I was like, I mean, no, I, I don't know. I don't, really, I don't really know him. He was a lovely guy. It was so odd. So I actually uh, said no and then put my phone on airplane mode and continued to try and come up with this idea for the music video. The next morning, I had failed miserably. Still no music video idea. However, I had this insatiable urge to go to Margate for no reason. I had this urge. I had a... I was supposed to be having breakfast with my mum's mate, Mary. I'm saying everyone's real names here, so this is great. And in the middle of breakfast, I went, Mary, I want to go to Margate. I can't understand why. And she went, Jordan, go to Margate. And you know what? Guys, I went. I got up. I left breakfast. I left Mary with the check. And I got on the train. No word of a lie. I didn't even bring a change of clothes. No, nothing. I just got on the train. 6% battery. Don't know why I was going to Margate. Texted Joe. I'm getting in at this time. Can you come pick me up? He's like, sound. <laughs> Turned up, went there. We went out. We went partying. I don't know. I think got drunk. I was still drinking then. I don't anymore. The next morning, we go to an art gallery, right? Still don't know why I'm in Margate. I walk in. Uh, Turner. The Turner Gallery. Is that right? Yeah. We, is that right? Yeah. I mean, I lived there. Well, no, wait. That's part of the story. Shit, okay. So I went to the Turner, and then I went in, and I look, and on one wall, there's all these polka dots, right? And I'm like, wow, that's a crazy polka dot display. Then there's this big sun. Oh, that's amazing. And then I turn around, and the exhibition is called The Art of the Circle. Everything around me was the circular imagery I've been trying to come up with at home. And I've gone, what? I was like, Joe, did you know about this exhibition, Art of the Circle? Obviously, Joe did not have any idea I was making a music video idea to do of circles. He went, no, it's just what's on at the time. I see a film shot on two circles. I thought, this is incredible. I, that is my music video idea. I can't believe this. I went, Joe, I've got to go home. He's like, you just got it. No, I've got to go home. Got on the train, left. Him and Cheryl, confused, doesn't matter. So I get back, I do the music video, and I say to myself, if the opportunity arises, I'm going to move to Margate. And a few months later, it did. Now, this is where it all gets a bit trippy, and I've got a minute left, so let me do this. A few months after that, I'm having a countryside walk with my friends, right? And I start to obsess over the idea of nothing, okay? I start thinking, my whole life I've been chasing something, but maybe I just want to believe in nothing and no thing, you know? Do you know? No, right? We're just obsessed. We're trying to complete everything the whole time. But I was looking into these vast, expansive fields thinking maybe it's all about nothing. I believe in nothing. 
no thing. I just, it feels like everything. Anyway, I tried to tell this to my partner at the time, and I said, do you know what I mean about the nothing thing? And she went, no. <laughs> the next morning we wake up, she turns on the radio, BBC Radio 4, it says, we're now going to have a, a reading of T.S. Eliot, Wasteland. And then I think one of the first lines is, on Margate Sands, where I met nothing with nothing, my humble men who expect nothing. She turned around and was like, all right, that's kind of weird. <laughs> and from that birthed this idea that I wanted to try and put out, I wanted to express this idea that maybe completion, wholeness, our, des our desperation to feel whole isn't everything, you know? Maybe it's just the, the pure transcended excitement I can get from walking through a field, looking into the expansive green and just thinking that maybe in that moment, nothing is everything. And that's essentially why I wrote my kid's book, The Missing Piece. Thank you very much. <laughs>